today what I'm doing is making a table which will be for our uh, cooking and probably washing up. Now I've already had a smaller piece of board cut for this. I'm going to cut a piece of board which I've already sort of started but I thought I'd just show you how I've done it. Um, I've got this ladder here and it's an aluminium ladder and the main reason to buy it was to get up to the top of the trailer onto the roof. It's, uh, I think it was a Bunnings jobby. Folds into four sections. You can have it just as a step ladder or as an extension ladder, but the four sections at a four metre. But the other nice thing about it, you can use it for this, um, like with a plank or whatever, to, to stand on. Um, Utilising that function, what I've done is cut a piece of uh, plywood. Now I did have about a three or four mil, but it had split and it was uh, not as sturdy as it needed to be. So all I've done is marked the cuttings that I had for that because it has these here little protrudences that you need to cut around to have the board sit flat on here. So I've already cut this one out. I haven't tried it on here yet because I've got to finish this one, but I just thought that we'll show you how I've done that. So basically these ones, all I've done is I had it pencil marked and I've used the circular saw just to plunge into there. Plunge saw would have been nice, but this was quite easy to do and it, I actually lined it up fairly well. And that's done these cuts. Now you've got to cut it out. The first thing I did was use the, uh, the multi-tool here to get into there, but it, was, it makes a lot of noise and it doesn't really, there's not really use good for this. So at first I jumped off and I managed to cut about halfway in and then I thought, nah, that's that's too hard. I'll just grab the uh, fibro uh, gyp rock saw. And you know, these are really sharp on the end with good blades. Managed to get it through there and cut this one. But then I thought, I won't bother using that. There must be another way. So let's just drill a hole. So I've, for this one, I've dro drilled a hole in each corner of there. And now we'll cut out the rest of it. It's a bit of... Um, juggling just to, to get that in there okay that's that one I'm not too worried about how pretty this looks because it's just got to be functional it's got to hold the stove and the washing up and it's a good size uh, table space for not much extra gear to carry. But I'm carrying the ladder anyway. Okay, there we go. Now, what we need to do, try this, buy this on the top of the ladder, and see how it works. Oh, how about that? It fits. There's a little bit of a bow in the timber. I'm actually not too worried about that but I could clamp this still slightly hitting on the lever here and that's sort of stopping it going down so I think I might take a little bit more out of this edge on this one a little bit extra out of this side here Not real straight. It certainly should be. It 
so don't give me any comments about it's uh, not much of a woodworker I know that I'm not much of a woodworker I'd love to have the time to do more of it but now this has got a bow in the timber but that's actually sitting down pretty well just a little bit more out of this side here Okay, that's good. So, what we can do now is move this over here. Okay, so this will probably go about here. That's a good spot. There we go. Um, a simple way to give you more table space at your campsite. Um, I was storing this up in the top of the trailer, but now I found that I can put it actually down right in the front, and it just sits in there out of the way uh, when we're travelling. Yeah, a whole lot extra space, and uh, and works really well. That's it for that one. This is Ross' new table. Oh. Table and the ladder. Look at that. Unable to join. What do you think of that? I like it.